Hi, this is Richard from Boat Fittings, and today I'm making this video on automatic bilge pumps. And there's a couple of different kinds of automatic bilge pump. This one has a built in float switch, which you can hear clearly if you turn it upside down. This other kind is also an automatic bilge pump, but it doesn't have a float switch, it's electronically controlled. And I'm going to be focusing on the differences between these two bilge pumps um, so that you can figure out which one is best for you. Um, if you find this kind of thing useful, it'd be great if you could subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the thumbs up button. We have other videos which go into the wiring of bilge pumps in quite some detail. So um, you know, please look on our channel for those videos separately. So as I said, today we are focusing on the automatic kinds of bilge pump, which will always have three wires, whichever kind they are, as opposed to a manual bilge pump, which only has two wires. This could be hooked up to an external float switch. Um, and just to mention, all of these uh, pumps are available on our website, boatfittings.co.uk. Um, if you want to keep on watching through the operation of these pumps, right at the end of the video, I'm going to give a, a bit of a roundup as to you know, the pros and cons of the different kinds of pump to hopefully let you choose the pump which, which suits you. So first we're going to look at uh, this bilge pump here. This is the automatic bilge pump with a float switch built in. So uh, inside of here, you've got the impeller here, but inside this chamber here, through this little hole, inside there, that's the float switch that moves up and down with the water level and turns the pump on and off. Okay, so I've got the uh, pump set up in the tub, the pipe works connected, uh, I've got the electrics connected. At the moment the tub is empty, so it's, you know, you've got simulating you've got a nice dry bilge, so no pumping needs to happen. I'm going to turn on... In this case my shower. So simulating a leak in your boat. Or maybe you, you know, just got back down to the boat after a few weeks. There's a bit of water in it and you've uh, clicked on the switch. So it's just, at the moment it's just gradually getting up to level. And uh, it's going to probably need a couple of inches of water before the float gets, gets high enough to, uh, to activate and get the pump in. <coughs> Okay, so as you can see, it's, um, you know, the switch gets to a certain level and then very, very quickly, this is quite a high capacity pump, this is a 2,000 gallons per hour pump, um, and uh, it brings it down to level in no time at all, it turns itself off again. Okay, so this time we're looking at the other kind of bilge pump, um, in this case it's a slightly smaller unit. And it looks very similar, but it, it works in a different way. It doesn't have a moving float switch inside. What it does is it uses electronics to detect if there's water uh, that needs pumping out. So the way that way it does this is every, uh, every now and again, in this case, every two and a half minutes, it will turn the pump on. And if there's water in there, it's going to detect there's water by the amount of electrical current that it draws. If there's no water in there, there's a small current and it says, OK, I'm just going to turn off. If there's water in there, it says I'm going to carry on pumping until it, the water's gone. So same as last time, I'm going to put the uh, water on. And uh, this time around, you know, the, the, uh, the tub is filling up gradually, but uh, the pump doesn't know about it yet because it hasn't done its little test uh, check. And uh, it's going to be, as I say, every, every couple, two and a half minutes, it's going to turn the motor on and try and detect if there's water in there by the amount of current uh, drawn. Here we go. 
used to see it. Done his little check, turned the motor on, found water, and it's just going to keep on pumping until the water gets down to a, to a level where it says, hey, I can stop now. Once it starts pumping air, basically, that's when it's going to stop. And there we go. So it basically drained the tank. It left about two centimetres, one and a half, two centimetres of water in the tank. And now it's going to sit there for another two and a half minutes. And I'll just let that let it run through its cycle again. Okay, so this tub's getting fairly full now. So uh, I reckon the pump's going to do its little check any moment. And there we go. Time out just right. So yeah, taking a little while to drain that tub because the water is still flowing into it at the same time at quite a fast rate. But uh, you know, I've got this shower head on pretty much on full and the uh, pump is doing a good job of beating it and uh, emptying the tank. And there we go, it stopped. Now you've seen both kinds of automatic bilge pump in operation, um, you know, you're going to maybe th think what's, which is the best one for me, which one should I get? And really they, they have advantages and disadvantages. So this one, the float switch type, um, it's, it's a very easy to understand principle. The thing I like about this kind is um, if there's no water in the bilge, then nothing's going to happen at all. It's never going to use any electrical power and it's never going to make any noise. It's just going to sit there quietly and, and, until it's needed. Um, a possible disadvantage is there's, there's moving parts, or rather more moving parts. So I guess you could argue that the, um, the, there's an extra way it could, could, could fail or get jammed up. Um, with the other kind, with this kind, the electronic kind, again, no, no float switch. It's going to detect if there's water electronically. So there's, there's less moving parts. You've only got the motor, uh, which is, you could say is an advantage. One disadvantage I can think of is that if you had this switched on in your boat and you're sleeping, trying to sleep, every two and a half minutes, you get this little buzz of a uh, of noise as it uh, checks if there's any water so you, you would want to be probably turning that off at night. Um, generally it's uh, a, a, a cheaper unit so that can come into your decision. So in any case I hope you've got an understanding of uh, what the differences are and how they work. As I say we have other videos going into a lot of detail on the wiring so if that's what you need to know about now then please do check out our channel and I hope you found that useful. Um, if you did, it'd be great if you could subscribe and even great if you could give us a thumbs up. Um, and thanks for watching.